Hello and welcome to, well, hoping an exciting episode where I can actually go through the process of finally explaining Elko.exe, a executable found in as part of the Rostec um, VCDS installation. I don't remember who the original developer was. I mean, because even Rostec actually makes, actually gives credit um, to this individual. So when I find out, I'll actually post it up in the comments. But in the interim, um, right, but in the interim, there is, yeah, so oftentimes I get a, get, get a question asked, what is lcode.exe um, and how do you use it? Okay, so when you install VCDS from the Rostex site, you will actually have lcode um, code as a, let's say, an executable to help with the long coding process. Now I'm using a Windows, a Dell Windows uh, based tablet PC because I don't have my laptop today. Fortunately, I don't have a keyboard either. So I'm just going to use a... Well, since my fingers are a bit on the fat side. So on the C drive, you would have your Rostec folder, which that's the default, typically the default installation location. I'm actually recording this in the parking lot right now. So folks are looking at me kind of weird as to why I'm narrating and doing this. So... In Rostec folder, you have VCDS, and in the root of the folder, you will have, yeah, here we go, elco.exe, you double tap to open it, and here you go. So it's empty right now because there is no, there, there is no label file loaded, nor is there any actual coding. Now the coding that you'll post, you'll paste in in this field up top. That's field number one. I'm tap trying to tap on it with my stylus here. You'll paste you'll post this um, paste this either from L, um, OBD11. That's your existing code. Now as it relates to loading your no, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> having also having a bad cold today. The read info text file. This is where you'd actually find your label files from. Now your label files will actually correspond to the actual modules that you have installed in your vehicle. So here you will find a folder called labels. I've had several instances of VCDS installed before, hence the reason why it's automatically called old, older, and oldest. But label files is the current one, the most recent one available via from the Rostec page. So in the label files folder, you do have all these wonderful developed labels um, from from Rostec themselves. The ones with the CLB at, um, extension are unfortunately encrypted, so I really can't help you with those. But the traditional ones that like these label with the LBL. Sorry, my phone is kind of out of focus at the moment. I'm using a camera phone at the moment to do this. Right, the LBL files, you can open them with any text document, but in this case, you want to actually open it with, you really want to open it with the, with L code here. So it's read info text file. Right, so they give you that little disclaimer, blah, blah, blah. Right, so read info text file, and you browse to the actual file that you want. Of course, you can always, you can always choose between these two options in your case you're going to want to go use the lbl so once you've once you've loaded that you'll be able to see what the actual modules themselves are doing and then from here you can simply do your necessary coding that's ticking checking and unchecking the, the text boxes as needed Tick, 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 for argument's sake, tick, tick, tick. And what you'll notice is that the coding up top actually changes. This coding number one, this coding number one, you'll simply just 
copy and paste back this coding that you get here back into OBD 11 whether you want to type it out manually that's all the way up to you but whichever way you um, whichever way you do it yeah that's yeah really very much up to you however you want to do it um all right I forgot to mention the label files the label files will actually will correspond to the particular hardware that you have or you're trying to code at that point in time you will see it when you go under hardware ID where it will say something along the lines for like for argument's sake a good example anything for the mark 5 mark 6 will typically start with the numbers 1k0 so some of those modules you'll find in that range so on and so forth you can see you have the AP, AP here. When you open them, you will actually see what the various modules themselves actually, what these actual, some of them actually do, which is actually quite, quite cool, in my opinion. But yeah, that's literally about it. Um, I think 9C0, if I can scroll. Okay, so. You see the 1J for the 1J chassis, right? So the mod, yeah. So the the module that you'll be looking for, the part number, you'll actually find that in your copy of OBD11 when you actually do the scan. I hope that this is actually, you know, informative or has helped clear the air on some issues. The important thing for you now is just to select the correct label file that's pers that pertains to what you want to actually code at that point in time. But any problems, uh, just let me know and I'll either clarify or re-upload a, a new video that, explain that for much better explains stuff. But it is, right now, I don't have a tablet. I mean, I don't have a laptop computer on my person at the moment and I'm just in the parking lot just doing this recording and then using this pen with a with a stylus at the end so that my fat fingers do not block doesn't block the way yeah to just do this upload oh yeah cheers to the for, to both the Rostec and the OB11 team I mean you both have done a very good job very very good job all right so Ciao.